Do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. As we have seen in the previous section, what is definition of laminar flow, turbulent flow and transient flow. So now we are going to study in detail what is turbulent flow. Before that, we have already studied what is Newton's law of viscosity. So we'll apply the same similar or same equation in turbulent flow called as the eddy's viscosity. Before learning about eddy's viscosity, let us first get into detail what is a turbulent flow. So before this, we have studied what is laminar flow. Now we'll study what is turbulent flow. flow. Now for turbulent flow, we should know that the Reynolds number is greater than greater than 5000. Now we know that Reynolds number is equals to rho V D by mu if it is in, in an enclosed surface or, or it is and on a free surface this can be given as rho V D L upon mu. It is also given as its inertial force inertial force to its viscous force. So this is what is Reynolds number. Now over here in a laminar flow the inertial force is less uh, inertial force is less as compared to the viscous force so over here if i denote inertial force by if and viscous force by vf so for laminar flow laminar flow inertial force is less than viscous force where here the inertial force is less and the viscous force dominates the inertial force but okay but in a turbulent flow what happens is for a turbulent fluid or a turbulent flow inertial force is greater than viscous force so that means inertial force dominates the viscous effect of the fluid so the flow in which the inertial force is greater than the viscous force is called as the turbulent flow now for that we should have the reynolds number greater than 5000 and over here while the fluid is turbulent there is intermixing of the adjacent layers of the fluid so let us see how the intermixing takes place. So in a laminar flow, we knew that one layer after another layer, there is no intermixing of the layer. But in the turbulent flow, the orientation is random. There is formation of waves or this first layer and second layer will intermix each other during which there will be some formation of eddies. Now eddies we are familiar with before also we have studied in basic electricity what are eddies they are a circulating current due to the induction of magnetic field similarly here also since the fluid is flowing at a very high velocity since the fluid is flowing at a very high velocity what happens is there is formation of eddies or the waves so before this before getting into much detail we'll see one cross section of an ocean so if we take one cross section of an ocean we know that at the top surface of the ocean there are always formation of waves these formations of waves is due to the turbulent flow of the fluid so there there will be always the intermixing of the adjacent layers of the fluid but as we go deeper inside the ocean what happens is it the turbulent flow gets converted into a transient flow where it is just converting from 
a turbulent flow to laminar flow after that there will be a layer in which there will be only laminar flow and after which the fluid will be static much of the aquatic life lives in this laminar region but higher uh, but few aquatic animals uh, live in this turbulent or the transient region so we have seen what is the basic of turbulent flow there will be formation of eddies as well as there will be intermixing of the fluid uh, intermixing of the fluid layers now let us study this in detail so we know that over here we know that what is newton's law of viscosity that is tau is equals to mu into du by dy where du by dy is the velocity gradient and mu is called as the viscosity of the fluid now this flow is strictly valid when this equation is strictly valid when it is a this equation is strictly valid when it is a laminar flow now what happens when we have turbulent flow this equation of shear stress is replaced by eddy's equation that is equals to tau is equals to eta du by dy much like mu which was equals to coefficient of coefficient of viscosity this eta is called as eddy's viscosity we have studied in the previous sections that is in laminar flow that mu that is coefficient of viscosity is a property of a fluid that we have studied before or we have studied in fluid statics there are three properties of fluid which is viscosity surface tension and compressibility so this viscosity that is coefficient of viscosity is a property of a fluid but eddy's viscosity is not a property of a fluid it is a property of a flow now eddy's viscosity will change from 0 to 1000 times the value of mu so there will be always change in this value so if it is zero it is viscosity if this is zero then the flow is said to be a laminar flow and if it becomes a thousand or one times a normal viscosity or coefficient of viscosity then it will be a turbulent flow so it is a property of a flow and it can change from point to point from one point to another so in general we can write this equation as for a turbulent flow tau can be represented as which is the shear stress that is equals to mu into du by dy plus eta into du by dy now this is the shear stress for a turbulent flow now initial part of a turbulent flow consists of the laminar flow but beyond this as the velocity increases or the Reynolds number increases beyond 5000 what happens over here the laminar flow gets converted into turbulent flow so this part is just laminar and this part is the turbulent part now if n eta tends to 0 then what happens is this entire thing will tend to zero and this entire shear stress will be equals to what is Newton's law of viscosity which is only valid for laminar flow much like much like kinematic viscosity which was denoted by eta is equals to mu upon rho we have coefficient of kinematic eddies viscosity that is kinematic kinematic eddies viscosity is similar to this kinematic viscosity now how we can define this this was given by eta this is given by epsilon so epsilon just by definition of this can be written as 
eta upon rho. So we can define kinematic eddies viscosity as the ratio of eddies viscosity to the density of the fluid si similar to what is kinematic viscosity in laminar flow which is ratio of kinet uh, ratio of coefficient of viscosity to the density of density of the fluid so for a turbulent flow the total shear stress can be written as laminar plus turbulent and if this tends to zero then it will be just a laminar flow and eta is not a fluid property it is a flow property it changes from one variable one point to another point and it is a function of one or more variables for example if we talk eta in detail then we can say eta will be a function of its velocity, its pressure, its viscosity, its temperature, so on and so forth. So it is dependent upon n number of variables as the flow progresses from a laminar to turbulent or rather in a turbulent flow having a large amount of velocity. So I hope you have understood what is Eddy's viscosity, its analogy with Newton's law of viscosity as well as uh, <clears throat> as well as the equation of shear stress in turbulent flow. Thank you.